you guys are probably looking at all this stuff and you're you're thinking, Spot, what what do you got going on here? You haven't cleaned up from your last video. What's with all this crap? Well, my friends, this crap actually has there's something that all this crap has uh, in common, and no one is ever going to get it, I'm sure. But if we just look at a few things here, we've got Witch's Night Out, classic Halloween movie. We've got Marvel Universe official Marvel superhero cards series one. The start, really, what started my uh, collecting of trading cards, one of one of the collections at least. Uh, we got in the background here the official handbook of the Marvel Universe, the Master Edition. And if anyone doesn't know what those are, I've done a review of them, so just check those out. Um, we've got the Ruby Spears Superman. All 13 wondrous episodes. Some episodes are better than others. And finally, one of the crown jewels, we've got the Land Without Feelings, the very first episode of the original Deke. DIC Care Bears cartoon. Far superior than that garbage that Nelvana put out. Sorry for anybody that likes Nelvana. Um, so, what do all these things have in common? Anybody? No? You couldn't say all have black because I don't think there's any black on this. Well, the case is black, but. The answer is these are all things that at some point in my collection, my, my, t my time of collecting, uh, these were all what I considered to be not necessarily holy grails, but a personal list of stuff that I wanted to collect. It was stuff that, while when I was younger, um, I remember seeing, I remember having, or I remember somebody having, and it stood, stood out so much in my childhood that it was a it was something I wanted to go back, I wanted to pick up. And uh, for anyone that remembers my review, it was a very long time ago I did the review on Land Without Feelings, and many people chuckled to themselves as this this man was reviewing a, a Care Bears cartoon. Uh, but I remember watching this Care Bears cartoon, I think when I was about six. I remember 1983. So actually I would have, yeah, about five or six. Um, and uh, for one reason or another, it, it was on VHS for the longest time, finally came out on DVD with a 25th anniversary Care Bear. Um, but all can really be said with a lot of these things here. They're all stuff that I have fond memories of when I was younger, and I went back and wanted to pick up little, little pieces to the grand puzzle of my childhood. You can really call it a collector's bucket list if you really wanted to, although bucket list, eh, usually it's a list of things you want to do before you die. But uh, let, for the sake of this, this is essentially my bucket list, and I don't have everything here that uh, comprise my list. Things not seen, not here that I unfortunately couldn't find at the time that I did this review or this video. Uh, certainly, the visionaries, uh, vehicles, and figures, which uh, I've got packed away somewhere. Um, also in here. Where's Waldo books? Right up there on my list of things. The Transformers uh, Universe um, Bio Comics. If anyone remembers them, there was only, I think, three or four comics released in the 80s that had stats on all the characters. That was a big on my list of something to pick up. Uh, but the reason for this video, as I've dragged on very long already, the reason for this video is actually two parts. One part is what we're doing right now. And that is a video I want to pose to you, uh, everybody out there on YouTube, is what is your collection bucket list? What is it that you remember having as a kid, or maybe you didn't even have it, but maybe something that stood out so much in your childhood that you wanted to go back as an adult, or maybe as you were older and you had money, you know, more, more finances that you could, you could look for this kind of stuff. Um, but what is it? What is on your collector's bucket list of stuff that you would like to collect? So, what I'm asking everybody out there on YouTube, whether you collect Marvel Legends, you collect DC, you collect horror movie figures, anything, because I mean a lot of these things you probably didn't have when you were younger, but uh, make a video response down below. This is the first part of this video. Uh, put a uh, list down below. 
of uh, what what is on your collection bucket list. What are things, not necessarily holy grails, um, or things that are out now. So if you collect Marvel Legends, it may not necessarily be sit where you would say, well, my bucket list might have Captain America from Marvel Legends. Uh, I'm talking more or less, if you were to, if you were in your teens now, what are some of the things that you had as a kid or things that stood out to your in your memory as something you you really loved having that now you want to go back and you want to find and that is that in in essence is the collector's bucket list we all have collecting collectors bucket lists out there and while I have found many things Many things that I I wanted to uh, get that I had as a child or uh, things I wanted to get. While there are many things that I've been able to find, there are many things, however, that I haven't. Many things that I haven't. And sometimes, as many people could probably attest to this, sometimes the journey, the quest in finding this stuff is somehow sometimes just as rewarding as actually finding it. Case in point, I just bring in Witch's Night Out here. Witch's Night Out, I'll make this story really, really short, so I don't want to make this video super long. Witch's Night Out, I actually remember watching when I was about six years old. It was on TV only once. It probably was on TV more than once, but as a child, I only remember watching it once. Uh, it, was, uh, it was so entertaining, though, as, as a child of my age, that uh, I, I still remembered it. And... I remembered the, you know, I remember Pazooey, and I remember some aspects to it. I remember the witch, I remember the kids wanting to become monsters, but that's as far as it went. And I couldn't for the life of me remember anything else about it. I remember it was Witches something, Witches Night or something along those lines. And slowly, you know, you keep looking for stuff like that. You look on the internet, which is something that would not have existed back then that you could reference. Um, but sure enough, I found uh, information rel relating to Witch's Night Out, and then I found this video cassette. And unfortunately, the video cassette is f is a bad uh, comparison because none of the characters on the front look anything like the characters in the movie. So I probably could have easily seen this in retail stores, probably in like the dollar bins, and I would have known nothing about it because none of the characters look like they did in the cartoon. Sure enough, I eventually found Witch's Night Out, so that was something on my bucket list that I could check off. Um, also, things in note as well that I, for, I didn't put on this pile here is uh, the Boogity Man, classic Disney movie. Uh, there was the Boogity Man. There was also the Return of Boogity, a Bride of Boogity, I believe. Um, not, unfortunately, been released on DVD, but I ended up finding a, a, a copy of it. Um, but something else something else on my bucket list that I've checked off uh, so this is going to be a two-part video the first part being the collector's bucket list so I ask everybody out there it probably means more I think for some of the older collectors just because you know growing up in the 80s or you know the late 80s early 90s uh, what is it what is on your collector's bucket list and it doesn't it could be you know five things it could be 10 things it could be 15 things but what are things that you had as a child or you remember seeing or has such an impact on you as a collector that you wanted to make it your mission to go back and find those things so make your list preferably if you could do a video response would be fantastic I love video responses but what is your bucket list and put it down as a text comment, put it down as a video comment, and tell me what is on your bucket list. And then the, the other end of that, that video, tell me how, how many things of that bucket list have you managed to find? How many things? How many things have you found? How many things are still unattainable? So that is the collector's bucket list, guys. Let me know what is on your bucket list. What are things that you want to get? And I, I will see you for part two. Where is this going to go? I don't know. Why is this guy doing two parts? We'll have to see. Stay tuned for part two of this video.